Ah yes, 2022 has arrived. It is January of a brand new year. Which must mean that I have my life together and I'm starting out the new year with a bang, right? Wrong. I'm sleeping at 5 a.m. every day, my room is a mess, my closet is exploding out onto my floor. But wait, Jennifer, didn't you just clean out your closet three months ago? Why yes, I did. But if there's one thing I'm good at, it's at breaking expectations. But I also want to break the cycle. So today I'm going to be cleaning out my closet, doing a deep decluttering of my room, doing some cleaning, and hopefully that'll create some good habits for the new year. So usually it becomes a pretty big task because I don't pick up after myself immediately. So I often get really overwhelmed and don't know where to start. I feel like the bed is the biggest part of the room, so I like to just clear that first. Meh. Or not. Cute! But unfortunately it did not take as long as I was hoping because now I actually have to do the part that I'm dreading, which is taking care of this trash. Fire dumpster. Oh, my brother just started vacuuming. It's the way that my brother is more clean than I am. I think that is what really motivated me because I am more messy than a stinky boy. I will not allow it. Anyway, my room gets so messy every like month or so and I don't really know how it happens. Well, no, I actually have thought about it a lot and I think it's because I am a hoarder. I grew up way bigger of a hoarder. I would just collect all the free stuff and never throw anything away. I think it's because I grew up with like not a lot of money so having things was just rare and so that's kind of a mindset that I've kept into my adulthood but now that I actually fortunately have the money to buy things I don't actually need to be in that scarcity mindset all the time especially when I can donate things that can go to someone who actually would use it more than I do I'm never gonna be the complete minimalist but I can implement a little more minimalism obviously I'm not gonna throw away stuff that I actually need and force myself to have to go out and buy new stuff but it's a lot of stuff that I don't actually need that I'm just like oh like maybe I'll wear this one day or like oh maybe I'll use this one day but realistically it's been like three years since I've even touched it and the only time that I ever see it is when I clean my room Dirty clothes on the ground. I pretend I don't see. my new song is coming out on January 28th here's a little sneak peek Dirty clothes on the ground. I pretend I don't see. Candy wrappers are found between the bed and the sheets pre-save it link down below I'm very excited glow up project is returning on January 30th which is an episode all about cleaning so it's like kind of in conjunction with this video so I'm very excited and please go watch that video when it comes out anyway I'm going to start by taking out all of the dirty clothes the dirty laundry and also threw away some trash but surprise it's still a mess a lot of the stuff is clean laundry that I just haven't put away I know it doesn't look like it but I know what's clean what's not I'm gonna just start hanging up the stuff that I know I want to keep and then the stuff that I'm not sure about I will leave out and we'll decide what I want to do with them Well, I've hung up about three shirts and uh, I've already ran out of hangers. So, all right, here's the plan. I'm going to sort out everything that's on the floor into piles of stuff that I want and don't want so that I can then move on to the closet side and also like throw out clothes that I don't want to keep. This is giving headache. This is giving Katy Perry. I'm overwhelmed. I'm honestly overwhelmed. I don't understand how people keep organized because like I just get really stressed out seeing something messy even though okay here's my thing I am something of a perfectionist myself you know I'm something of a scientist myself but I also don't prioritize being super organized and clean which kind of doesn't make sense in my head so then looking at the mess it kind of stresses me out because it's not perfect and then it stresses me out knowing that it'll take such a long time to clean and in the end it still might not look perfect so then I just don't start it's kind of like fear of failure I guess I think the trick is to just just do something small and then if it's tiring you'll stop but most likely 
you're just gonna continue because you've already started. So all you need to do is like pick one thing up. Alright, I have organized all the clothes on my floor and I realized that most of them are just t-shirts that I don't even need to hang up. These are all clean. I know they came from the floor, but just trust me on this one. So I'm gonna put these into the drawers. This is like one of the most satisfying parts of my room, so I actually enjoy doing this part. I think I realized what I need is a set system for doing things and a set place for certain items, and then I won't get too overwhelmed. Versus like when I run out of hangers, I start freaking out because my system is no longer in order. If things aren't perfect, basically I get very overwhelmed. Tips on dealing with that? Please let me know. Okay, so these are my t-shirts, but these are all clothes that I need to put into this area of my closet. And then over here, I have clothes that I need to alter, which are literally all pants because I'm a short little person with short little legs and I can never find pants that fit me lengthwise. I will be making a video altering all of them. I know I said that like a couple months ago, but I never got around to it, but I'm gonna do it this time. And you guys yell at me in the comments and keep reminding me until I do it. And then over here, you can't really see it, but I have a bunch of clothes that I want to donate or sell on like Depop or something. Anyway, I'm going to put all of these t-shirts into my drawer. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. You did stay. So I've just put away all of my t-shirts, but I'm looking around and I'm still kind of overwhelmed just because there's still so much to do. A lot of the times it's really hard for me to control my emotions or just like even let myself feel these things in a healthy way. Usually I like to listen to a lot of chaotic podcasts to kind of distract me from negative emotions, but I think that only just bottles up my negative emotions and kind of like suppresses them until one day or like for a month I'll get really depressed and like all my negative of emotions will come out. This has happened a couple of times, so I'm trying to learn how to regulate my emotions in a healthy way. Recently, I've been listening to this podcast called Deepak Chopra's Mind Body Zone, Living Outside the Box. It's just very calming. It's just like helping me become more peaceful and like less chaotic in my mind. This is exclusively on Audible actually, so I wanna thank Audible for sponsoring this video. What a smooth transition. I'm sure you guys have heard of Audible before, but in Inspired by the new year, they've created this destination for all their well-being podcasts and audiobooks. There's such a broad range of topics from self-care to self-development, and it's very encouraging and inspiring. And there's a lot of actionable steps that you can actually implement into your life for relationships or just taking care of yourself or getting in shape. Anything that you need to get your life together for 2022, basically. So this will be a big destination for me this whole year. Some of my favorites so far have been Mastering the Skill of Reinvention by Coach Pamela. Audible has a 30-day free trial and every month Audible members get one free audiobook and full access to their Plus catalog. So you can go to audible.com slash wellbeing to start listening today. Thank you Audible for sponsoring this video. So I'm going to continue listening to the podcast and trying not to feel overwhelmed and I'm going to be putting my pants into my closet because those don't need hangers. All right, it is the next day and I've put into the closet everything that I possibly can. It is time to subtract. So I'm going to be going through and picking out things that I haven't worn. And I'm being honest with myself this time because last time when I tried on stuff, I was like, oh wait, this is kind of cute. Maybe I'll wear it again. Guess what? It's been three months and I know I haven't worn certain pieces. So it's time to get rid of them. Um be honest here. Maybe I could wear it like in the summer. This is cute. I feel like it's kind of cute. I've never worn this yet. I thrifted it. I will give it a chance. Okay, you know why there's so many more clothes in my closet now than from last time? It's because when I did that video, I forgot that I had a giant load of laundry from some thrifted items that I needed to wash before I wore them. And I didn't account for that in my closet space. So there's a lot of stuff that I just have never worn before. Here's another item. You know, like, should I be taking off this crew? Neck. Yeah, 
but I kind of don't want to be naked in front of you guys. And I also don't want to change because it's really cold. It is what it is. Buttons really are testing my patience right now. I don't really wear cardigans anymore. I feel like this is getting donated. This was one of my first Brandy Melville purchases and I used to wear it every day, but I don't wear it anymore because it's open at the bottom, so it's not very warm. Maybe I can just add a waistband at the bottom and cinch it in. That actually might be a good idea because I do like this sweater. I want to do that actually. So this is going into the alterations pile. I've never once worn this. It kind of doesn't fit me super well. I'm actually going to try this on. This should be paid content on OnlyFans, but I'm going to let you guys see it for free. Just kidding, I do have a t-shirt on underneath. The shoulders are a little big. I feel like if the shoulders were just a little bit more in, I could alter it, but honestly, I feel like it's not the vibe. I think this is goodbye. Why is this like the same shirt as that white jacket that I just tried on? Do I like this? I feel like I like it from the fit of it. Why is this kind of a vibe? I don't know why I like this, but I like it. Ooh, it's giving like indie artist girl who lives in a Brooklyn apartment and has dirt under her nails, but manages to keep her white shirt like super white. She caught a vibe, honestly, keeping this. I really wanted to like this shirt and wear this more often. It's this like white half zip. It says Outer Banks. I love Outer Banks. Never been, but I'm talking about the show. This is a donate. It's giving Chris Evans and Knives Out. I feel like I've made that reference before. Did somebody call Chris Evans because my knives are out? I think it's a cute sweater, objectively, but I feel like it doesn't really fit my style. So this is a uh, going away. This shirt, I know that in my last video, I was like, oh, it's actually really cute. Why don't I wear this more? But I've never worn it a single time. So this is going goodbye. Same with this one. It's just not the vibe anymore. Same with this one. This used to be my favorite sweater like two years ago because it's so cozy, but this was also my depression sweater. I wanted a sweater to make me feel like how I felt inside, which is just like shapeless and like nothing and like a shell of a human. And this just was a blanket. Wait, why is it kind of cute? She said depression in style. It's cute for the time, but I feel like it's not my style anymore. Wait, why is it still kind of cute? Oh, it's so warm. I want to keep this. Is this my brain telling me I'm I'm about to go into depression round four. No, but in all honesty, I've been mentally doing pretty well lately. So maybe I'll turn this sweater into a happiness sweater. I feel like I tried to get rid of this sweater in my last video, but why is it still here? I also haven't worn this. Ah, why do I feel like I'm gonna like it when I try it on? No. Okay, so I don't actually like this sweater that much. It's also not super comfortable. It's like one of those sweaters that's a little bit itchy. So I think I'm just gonna donate this one. I should probably try this one on without a t-shirt, but <sighs> I actually have a tank top underneath. Just kidding, I'm actually naked this time. Oh, it's kind of really comfortable, but am I gonna wear it? Am I going to wear it? Honestly, I kind of do like it. I'm gonna give this one a chance. <sighs> Does anybody? Okay, this is a big sign that I'm so out of shape because like, this, who does this happen to? It makes me really exhausted to like take off my shirt this way. So I usually take it off like this, like doing it like this, like my, my arm muscles hurt. Bro, this is actually just embarrassing. I should just shut my mouth. All right, we got another cardigan situation. This is super not ideal with the t-shirt on underneath. It has a little tie at the bottom. I've actually never worn this shirt before, but it was thrifted. Do I like it? I have no idea. Imagine this was like a t-shirt or tank top. Yes, no, kind of a vibe. I'm gonna keep it until summer and then see if I actually wear it. And then if I don't, it's a donate. Oh my God. This is one of the shirts that I made. I still have never worn it for real, like into the world. Recently, I've decided I'm gonna keep all of the clothing that I make and just kind of store it somewhere for the mems. Just because I don't wanna lose something that I made. It's my child after all. I'm not a big fan of just leaving your child out on the street. Yeah, I'll keep them. 
This is also one of those depression sweaters that I need to get rid of just because I feel like I don't really wear these giant baggy sweaters anymore. <coughs> oh, it's giving dad sneeze. You know how all dad sneeze? They sneeze like huge and super loud because it's like their only way to express emotions. Okay, no. It's giving mime. It's giving I need to stop saying giving. What? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is a lot actually. That's 19 new hangers. Bitch, we did it. You and me together. So now we actually have the hangers to be able to hang up the things that I want, which are on the floor right here. Now that I've gotten everything into the closet, well, you can't see now, but I got everything into the closet with a bunch of extra hangers still because I have stuff that I still need to hang up. I've gotten a bunch of different bags to fill up with the different categories of clothes. So I have this giant garbage bag for straight up donations. This is all the stuff that I have to donate. Oh, yeah. I actually thought about donating this jacket that I wore all throughout my time at NYU. I literally put it in the bag and then I felt like a pang in my heart. My heart ached. And I imagine that's what love feels like. Never been in love, so wouldn't know. Like there's still a chance that I could wear it. Even though it's like super rattered, tattered up. I did buy this for only a dollar at a garage sale on the streets of New York. So it's lasted pretty long, but gonna last a little longer. Next up are things that I want to sell. Hopefully I'm actually gonna open up my Depop this time. All the stuff that I'm gonna sell. Ugh. Okay, now I'm gonna bag up all the stuff that I need to alter, which are 95% jeans. Have you ever seen jeans this big? They're huge. Maybe I can paint them or something, but comment what you think I should do with these pants. I'm gonna need ideas. Oh, okay. Lastly, a bag for all the clothes that I've made that I just don't really wear, but that I want to keep. Oh my God, this is my one division costume. I honestly don't know when else I'm, I would wear this, but I gotta keep it some other stuff in my room that I've meant to donate, like this random backpack from Aeropostal. I bought for a back to school giveaway like probably five years ago and I never did. I guess it's being donated now because I know none of y'all want this. Old backpack that I, I really loved but I don't use anymore. Cool. Now it's gonna bring these out to the appropriate places. Yo, why does it kind of fit? It good. looks like very what? formal. No, it doesn't. Wait, do boys tuck in? No. You could. You wore like I jeans. I don't have jeans. I don't know if this one's the vibe. Wait, it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. I kind of like it actually. Turn around. It's alright. It's okay. I kind of like the red one better. I wear this one more than the red though. Really? This one looks a little smaller. Well, actually it's not bad. I don't wear this. Okay. Okay, I was about to donate these, but I think they found a new home in my brother's closet. He honestly has been wearing a lot of my clothes lately. I'm surprised you didn't find these ones when you dug through my closet every morning. Yeah. Oh, should we do a video where we swap closets for a week? Since he wears my clothes anyway and I want to see what I can make of his trash closet. Huh? <laughs> okay, wait, I actually have more for you. I'll probably wear this tomorrow. Oh, wait, is this yours? It was too small. Will it fit? Yeah, how many clothes do you have? A lot. It's kind of small. Yeah, you can wear it. <laughs> Look how short it is. Is it short? Oh, yeah, it looks a little cropped. Usually for me, it goes to here. Okay. Yeah, it's all right, but it's not it's for winter. It's a little small. I kind of like it. Yeah, it's nice. I'll keep it. Okay. <laughs> what? The arms are a little small. Really? Really? You don't think so? <laughs> what, if, what if you layered this 
over it. Like, would you wear it though? Yeah. Why do we fit the same clothing? No, wait, this is so wait, small. Wait, no, no, wait, this no, one is good. No, what? Wait, this one is good. Okay, wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's so small. Yeah, I thought it would look better for some reason. They look like a prisoner. <laughs> They don't give prisoners sweaters, bro. Wait, what do prisoners wear when they get cold? Probably get a jacket. Have you ever seen a prisoner no. wear a jacket? Okay, in this one. Wait, why can't you wear this one? It's your style. It, just, it doesn't match my style anymore. What's your style? I don't really know. Not that. It's kind of cute. Really? Wait, just stand normally. Yeah, I like, I like this one. I think this was my favorite. Really? Well, the arms are a little like, mm, actually. Well, I like the length. You like shorter arms? Yeah, because you can also like see the watch. You don't have a watch. I have a watch. Oh, my watch. Wow. <coughs> Charity. Why are we crafting outfits at midnight? Does it come with like a charm thing? Yeah, I do. I did have them. I lost it. What? Don't you have? They're kind of girly. Okay, but you're wearing my sweater, so I don't think okay. you can call things girly anymore. Oh, you want a butterfly? The lock? No. You want a butterfly? Oh wait, you should try the lock. It's kind of short though. It'd be like really tight. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> if it was longer, it'd be cute. Oh, wait, try these glasses. I'm just trying to give him a makeover. I can't see. Well, should I put contacts on and then this over no, it? No. It's kind of uncomfortable it's kind of though. A and yeah, it's too small. It's kind of a vibe though. I can't see. Okay, it's fine. It's for fashion. Oh my god. No? Oh, I can't see. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait, try my other glasses. <laughs> I'm just getting him to try all of my things. Wait, let me try your glasses. Oh my god, you're blind. Bro, I can't see anything. Wait, why is everything so spherical? Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> you put it too far up on your face. Bring it down a little. Yeah, it just looks dumb. Yeah, I don't like it. It looks better on me. Cute. Talking about myself. Hello, everybody. I'm back. It's the next day. I am now digging stuff out of this part of my closet. It's very cluttered. I have so much PR of makeup and like skincare and stuff. This is literally a box full of makeup that I just don't use. And I think I'm gonna do a giveaway in this video. This is like a lot of stuff. I'm gonna go through this makeup first and just see. Oh my god. I accidentally just recorded that whole segment in time lapse. Okay, let me say everything all over again. Basically, I ended up organizing all of the makeup, sorting through it, throwing away what was expired. Got rid of like over 50% of the makeup that was just sitting in my closet. A lot of products I know I just will never use because I just have so much. So I decided it would be more useful in somebody else's hands who would actually use them and have fun playing with new makeup. It's a lot of stuff. So I split it into five different giveaway winners. This box, this bag of stuff, this bag of stuff, this bag of stuff, and then this box of stuff. If you want to win a mystery bag of makeup, make sure you're subscribed because I really want to give back to you guys who support my channel. Like this video, and then, oh, you can follow me on Instagram at Generation DIY if you would like to. And then just comment down below what videos you want to see from me or what video you found me from. And then include just a way for me to contact you in the comment, like your Instagram handle or Twitter handle or something like that. Don't give me any personal information. I'm not trying to dox you. Don't give me your phone number, your address, anything like that. I'll leave more information in the description box. So I'm just gonna set these aside for now. And then earlier I was saying that I took out the recycling. Now I'm going to kind of tackle my drawers-ish. I get a lot of PR as we clearly have seen and just a lot of packages in the mail because I don't like to go outside. It's not a very good habit to like keep ordering things online. So anyway, I have a lot of boxes. A lot of them are really nice quality boxes. So what I like to do is use them as drawer dividers. I'll show you what I do with some of my boxes just to reuse them. I happen to need a lot of drawer organizers. So I decided to take apart the PR packages and boxes and like reconstruct them to be drawer dividers. These work out so perfectly. They're magnetic. Um, hello. Anyway, I think I'm gonna stand them up like this. But for this one, I'm being so extra. I'm washi taping up these little things because they're coming apart. It looks a little like not amazing, but whatever. It's just for functionality. Okay, 
Okay, so this drawer is literally just a bunch of scrunchies. I could put a lot more stuff in here if it was more organized, so I'm gonna put one of these container things in here. Oh my god, perfect. I don't know what I'm gonna put in there yet, but this fits so perfectly. All right, so I worked on a little bit of the drawers, but I'm actually gonna be saving the whole drawer, desk area, and whatever's left for my next video, which is going to be the Glow Up Project reboot episode one. Like, I'm so excited for you guys to see it. Hopefully you don't mind that I didn't completely finish the room, but this is like a huge undertaking. I always don't think that I have that much stuff because my room isn't huge, but then I dig into like all the little crevices and then I find stuff from like five years ago that I forgot existed. That's what a deep decluttering will do. It does feel very productive though. Even though I feel like on the surface level, it doesn't look that much cleaner. Actually, no, that's not true. Remember when you couldn't see the floor at the beginning look how much space i have now this is amazing but the main priority of this video was to clean out my closet which i think i successfully did so let me give you a little bit of a tour this part of my closet obviously still kind of looks the same but i have so many more hangers available now what's different from last time is that i actually have successfully put all the clothes that i have into the closet that need hangers and the only things that are outside of my closet currently are the pants that i have to hem those don't need hangers and there's plenty of space for for them on my shelves which I will show you now. I think the shelf area is now my new favorite part of my closet. The way that I fold them up is the Marie Kondo method but like adapted. For my tank tops I put them like books on a bookshelf. I just really like this way of organizing so I can see everything. I think it's so satisfying to look at and I think that is what I need to keep an organized system because if something is not satisfying to look at I feel like I won't keep up the routine. This way I'm like okay I know exactly what I'm supposed to do and I like the way it looks in the end so I will follow it. I cleaned out the bottom chunk of my closet you just saw with all my makeup and like all the clutter and stuff. Got rid of a lot of things. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Hopefully this inspires you to do a little cleaning, decluttering, and be realistic with yourself. Glow Project is coming on January 30th but before that new song is coming out on January 28th. So many exciting things happening. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys so soon. Bye!